I got a question for you guys. Why do you think all of these famous influencers suddenly have their own home gyms now? State of the art. How is it possible that all of these famous strongmen, bodybuilders happen to get a whole gym conveniently before everything shut down and the weights are no longer available, everything sold out. Most of them building their own gym months in advance. You think they know something you don't know? That gyms are going to be radiation chambers? Microwaves? I've been debating on making this video back and forth, and as I've said several times, there's always two choices. The right choice and the wrong choice. I could pretend that everything is okay and going back to normal, try to promote my fitness routine and various products, or I could tell the truth and express my concerns about the near future. With just about no one else on YouTube having any integrity whatsoever, we have to make some sense of what's going on and if fitness will have a future in our new world, that is, if you want to do it in a healthy way. Of course, there's the elements of resources, you know, exercising requiring calories, food, time, equipment, basically a second job if you're bodybuilding, but this new concern has come up. Just like they have been putting up Wi-Fi towers, LED lamps, various infrastructure that can be activated to make us very sick, they have been installing HVAC air filtration systems in all public places, especially gyms, schools, churches, any large enclosed gathering spaces. This is a war on oxygen, our environment. The frequencies emitted from these towers, these types of processes used to filter the air can suffocate you invisibly and cause massive amounts of oxidative stress. I have mentioned this over and over again. They locked us inside for several months and installed massive amounts of infrastructure that is going to be used to call and control the population. Everything essentially shut down but telecom and HVAC companies, which have been working overtime to put up towers, cell structures, and air filtration systems everywhere. It's like these companies were ready to act as soon as everything shut down. You know, if this was real and they actually had to prepare to set up new infrastructure to help us combat the problem, it would have taken months, but they were on the streets day one. A good analogy for this is that we're a bunch of caged rats and they can do whatever they want to us. They can point the towers near meat processing plants like they did to destroy our food supply. They can make children very sick in schools. They can alter oxygen molecules in every building with these new HVAC systems. And if you're participating in the system, if you're going to school, if you're going to the gym, if you're buying the average Amazon Wi-Fi devices that everyone has in their homes, you're participating in their weaponry system. This is where the gyms tie in. Normally gyms are already incredibly high Wi-Fi environments outside of these new HVAC systems. Everyone on their cell phone, all of these TVs, everything remotely controlled. Even if they weren't installing this new stuff, I would have a hard time recommending someone work out in a commercial gym. Very high oxidative stress environment due to all of the radiation. So what are they actually installing? These HVAC systems use cold plasma generators to alter oxygen. A study found that cold atmospheric plasma induces apoptosis, necrosis, cell detachment, and senescence by disrupting the S phase of cell replication in tumor cells. Now that might sound like a good thing because you're killing cancerous tumor cells, but it's not. Killing any sort of living cell is never a good thing. Cell necrosis and detachment are the most harmful, damaging processes that anything can do to our body. And this cold plasma process is doing that to the oxygen. This device is in the building that people are working out in. And outside of what it's doing to the oxygen, the levels of magnetic fields that are emitted from a high functioning device like this circuit breakers, high power usage things, magnetic fields are not as directly harmful as Wi-Fi radiation, EMF, because they dissipate very quickly, but they cannot be blocked. And I can't imagine the levels of magnetic fields coming off of these devices. And there's certainly an element of unnatural purification here. They're removing all natural molecules in the air that are typical to a human environment, seemingly creating a highly sterilized bubble. Think about this. 
If every single public place you go to is a highly sterilized bubble, as soon as they expose you to any sort of pathogen, you won't have the immune strength to respond to it. And by being the average person, by buying these Wi-Fi devices that you put in your home, by going to the gym, by going to church, by going to public events, you're going to these places where they have this infrastructure installed, where they're controlling your environment, making you sicker and sicker and sicker. And as with just about everything going on now, the reasoning behind this is an appeal to authority. It's assuming the germ theory is correct, implying that purer, cleaner air is better than air that has naturally occurring viruses, molds, and bacteria. We know that people on ventilators die because the air is too pure, too much oxygen. Anytime you displace the natural environment, humans suffer. This whole germ theory and idea that stuff is dirty and makes you sick is the furthest from the truth. Every single thing seems like an excuse to give people more radiation poisoning. They're using ultraviolet technology to clean in both HVAC systems and various public cleaning devices. Don't be surprised if you have to get blasted with UV radiation by a robot to go inside a Walmart. The only source of radiation that is justifiably healthy is the sun, and who knows what types of frequencies and strengths they're actually using in these devices. As we said with those cold plasma generators, okay, they're doing this to the oxygen, but what levels of magnetic and electric fields is the device emitting itself? You know, just because the device emits a safe amount of UV radiation does not account for the rest of the fields that these powerful devices are emitting. Magnetic fields cannot be blocked and are another way to give people radiation sickness. If we know Elon Musk is putting his hands on something, he's going to make it a microwave, just like his Tesla cars. I haven't made a video on those yet because I haven't found someone with a Tesla, but just Google how many people get headaches and symptoms of radiation poisoning from driving in a Tesla. The battery is emitting such high levels of unsafe fields. Point is, the new world that is being set up right now is so evil and controlled, you can't go anywhere without purposefully being radiated. Gyms are definitely a place they're going to target, just like meat plants, just like key infrastructure, because it's a supposedly healthy place. The healthy people in the population are going to be there, and in order to get those people sick and participating in big pharma, they're going to have to use a bit more than what they would use against the average person. You're going to hear that these devices are for our safety, for our surveillance, that there is nothing wrong with them. Plenty of agents saying, oh, I sleep right next to them all the time. I'm an age back in solar. They're perfectly safe. I'm perfectly fine. Don't believe a word they say. Don't trust them. There is a reason those fitness influencers built full home gyms. They know something you don't know and they aren't telling you. I am. Don't do as they say. Do as they do. If all of these clowns are staying out of commercial gyms, there's a reason they're doing it. These clowns disgust me. They think you're all idiots. They think none of you are wondering, oh, how come you suddenly got a gym before all of this happened? Is it such a coincidence? This puts me at a crossroads. Do I want to continue this natural bodybuilding nonsense? Because I'm never going to want anything to do with these morons. I mean, what happens if they start destroying New York City next week? Things get crazier and crazier later this year. I don't know. I do find it hard to believe that they aren't going to try to squeeze more money out of everyone, but this could very well be the end game. I don't see some sort of economic recovery coming. I don't know if gyms or exercising is going to be a regulated thing in the future. You know, is it worth me killing myself and eating for another few months to a year just to hope to market my routine? You know, I really couldn't have chosen worse timing. Uh, they might even make it so you have to get injected to work out at gyms, to be in public places. It might be a requirement. So I'm at a crossroads right now, you know, with what the hell I'm supposed to do. Some of you guys like the fitness stuff. And I was hoping it was going to grow my channel, but uh, YouTube's putting a stamp on that. And all I can really do is wait to see how things pan out. You know, it's just a few more months and we'll know, right? Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you know, it's tough. You know, there's always, you know, the line to cross about how honest do you be? You know, do you want to be true to yourself and do what you think is right for, you know, making money and being able to use that money to help more people? 
or do you just go down the path that doesn't seem like it's it's as marketable but uh you know you're physically doing different things so we'll see uh thanks again for joining me today guys uh you know how to support me with all the stuff down in the description uh let me know what you think about this uh maybe i'll call up some hvac people i'll try to figure out more about how these things work but it's uh it's not looking good guys it's not looking good yeah.